this video we're going to try to understand why we simplify rational expressions the way that we do so we'll look at this example one and then example two and example three okay so example one um, please write down 12 X uh, plus 60 over 6 and I want you to simplify that the way that we know how to do and that is to take um, the 12 X and divide it by 6 but also to take the 60 and divide it by 6 right so we usually divide we take the 12 X and we divide that by 6 don't we write this down and we also take 60 and divide that by 6 so write that down so what does that give you write down the answer by the way you don't have to write out these words I just want you to write this out 12 X plus 60 over 6 equals 12 X over 6 plus 60 over 6 equals and write down the answer that's what I just want you to write out this line here so write that out what's 12 X over 6 did you get 2 X what's 60 over 6 10 right so what we're going to do is so we've shown that when I simplify this I get that but we really want to understand that it's not just because the teacher said okay so we're going to pick a random number pick any number you like you don't have to pick the same number as me but just pick a number between 1 and 10 say so let's say I'll just pick just for fun I'll just pick the number 3 okay so I'm going to pick 3 and going to evaluate this expression and this expression when x is 3 and I should get the same number I mean if this expression equals 2x plus 10 then I should get the same number when I plug in 3 both in both expressions okay so to plug 3 into here and then into here I do this I go 12 times 3 plus 60 over 6 I use parentheses see that and to plug 3 in here I go 2 parentheses plus 10 okay so I'm using parentheses where the x was so in place of the x you just write parentheses so I want you to write this down and I want you to write this down okay 12 parentheses plus 60 over 6, 2 parentheses plus 10. Okay. Then plug in your number. You might have picked 8 or you might have picked 5. You might have picked 2 or whatever. Whatever number you pick, just plug it into both expressions. You might have picked negative 1. It doesn't matter. Any number at all. Plug your number in here and then here and calculate each and see if you get the same thing. So no matter what number you pick, as long as you plug it in here and here, you should get the same thing. So if, when I plug my number 3 in, okay, I'm going to go... Uh, 12 times 3, 36 plus 60, right, is uh, over 6, that's um, 96 over 6, 6 into 9 goes 1 time, render 3, 6 into 36, 6 times, so I get 16, right. When I plug my 3 over here into the 2x plus 10, okay, I get 6 plus 10, and that is 16 also, okay. So no matter what number I plug into both expressions, I, I should get the same number. So even if it's a negative, whatever it is, um, you should get the same number. I'm just going to do another one really quickly just to prove the point. So I'm going to pick uh, negative 2. Okay, negative 2 in here, we get negative 24 plus 60 over 6, which is... Um, Ba -ba 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 -ba. 6 something 5 36 over 6 so that gives me an answer of 6 okay when I plug negative 2 into 2x two, two, two plus 10 I get negative 4 plus 10 what's negative 4 plus 10 that's 6 okay so no matter what number I plug into 12x plus 60 over 6 or 2x plus 10 I get the same answer okay so we're proving really trying to prove to you that 12x plus 60 over 6 equals this in other words when you divide across by a number, you definitely do have to divide every term by that same number. Okay. Example 2, very similar. Don't write out the words, just write this out. 10x squared minus 5x over 5x equals, and I want you to evaluate that. So you're dividing this thing, everything, by 5x. I would like you to divide... I would like you to simplify this. Go, so you're going to go 10x squared divided by 5x. That's how we do it, isn't it? And then we go minus 
5x over 5x, right? That's how we do it, right? And we um, simplify each of these fractions and then we have our answer. So when you simplify that, what do you get? Okay, simplify that and write down the answer. Okay, I hope you've done it. Please do this. Write this out. Write this line out. Simplify it. 10x squared is 10 times x times x. And when I cross cancel, x and x goes once here and here. 5 to 5 goes once. 5 into 10 goes twice. And I get 2x, 2 times x times 1 over 1 times 1. 2x over 1 or just 2x. Right? x and x goes once here and here. 5 to 5 goes once here and here. This is 1 over 1, which is just 1. So we have 2x minus, and this thing here is 1. See, 1 over 1 equals 1, right? Okay, so 10x squared minus 5x all over 5x is indeed equal to 2x minus 1. These expressions are the same. We really did have to divide both of them by 5x. We're going to prove that by plugging a number into both expressions and calculating what the answer is to show you that these expressions are in fact equal. You actually do have to divide the 10x squared by 5x and the 5x by 5x as well. So pick any number at all. You can pick any number. Okay, I'm just going to pick, just for fun, I'm going to pick the number, um, let's see, what I pick? I'll just pick the number 4. But you can pick any number at all, okay? And we're going to do this. We're going to plug it into this expression and then this expression. So 10 times x squared minus 5x all over 5x. See that? Wherever you see an x, write a parenthesis. And on this one, it's 2x minus 1. You just go 2 parenthesis minus 1. Then you take your number. It doesn't have to be 4. It could be any number you like. Take your number, plug it in for x in both expressions, then calculate. So I'm going to plug 4 into both expressions. See that? See, 4 has to go in for x. So it goes in 1, 2, 3 times here and just once here. Okay. Now when I simplify this fraction, I get 10 times 4 squared is 16. I've got in my parentheses first, minus 5 times 4, over 5 times 4, okay, and um, that'll be 160 minus 20 over 20, and that'll be 140 over 20, and when I simplify that, 10 to 10 gives me 14 over 2, divide top and bottom by 10, and that gives me 7. Okay. So simplifying this guy, plug 4 in here, I get 7. Do I get 7 if um, for this expression as well? What's 2 times 4? It's 8 minus 1, which is 7. And you can try that for any number. No matter what number you plug in, you'll get the same thing, right? So um, just for fun, I'm going to plug in uh, a negative 2. So 10 times negative 2 squared minus 5 times negative 2 over 5 times negative 2 and then 2 times negative 2 minus 1. If I plug negative 2 in here or a negative 2 into this expression, both expressions will be the same. So negative 2 all squared is negative 2 times negative 2 which is actually positive 4. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. I get 40 plus 10 over negative 10. That is 50 over negative 10. That's a negative number. 50 over 10 is 5. That's a negative 5. Okay. This one, I get 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 minus 1, negative 5. Okay. So no matter what number I pick, if I plug it into both expressions, the answer becomes the same. That shows that both expressions are in fact equal. And that's why we do have to divide the 10x squared by 5x, and we do definitely also have to divide this 5x by 5x. Okay. So we've proven the right thing to do. Let's just pick up one common error. Like if a student gets this expression, you don't have to write all these words out. I just want you to look at this, x plus 8 over x. Like a lot of students will do something crazy like this. They'll just cross off the x's and they'll say the answer is 8. Now that is wrong. Why is that wrong? See, x plus 8 over x is not equal to 8. This is absolutely wrong. No, it's not 8, okay? Why? Well, let's plug a number in for x and we'll see. x plus 8 over x 
is not equal to 8. Pick any number, plug it in for x, and you'll show that this thing is just not 8. Okay, so any number at all, let's say the number 2. Okay, if we replace x with 2, plug it in, we'll get 2 plus 8 is 10 over 2, which is 5. Okay, pick another number. You could pick the number negative 1. That will give you negative 1 plus 8 is positive 7 over negative 1 is negative 7. So, I mean, these things are not equal to 8. Okay? So, we can't just, if you have an expression like that, you can't just cross off the x's and forget about it. That's just totally wrong. Okay? I mean, what could you do with that? If you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could divide both of the things by x, right? You could divide this by x, and you could divide this by x, couldn't you? Now that'd be okay. x over x. Now when I've got x over x, x and x goes once here and here. 1 over 1, that is 1, okay? Plus 8 over x. So I can write that as 1 plus 8 over x if I want, and that'll be fine, but I can't just cross off x's like that when they're being separated by a plus sign and expect to get away with it. Okay. Um, when you've got multiplication, it's different. Like if you had x times 8 over x, that's different. When you have multiplication, you can cross cancel. Okay, so when you have factors, you can cross cancel. So this is equal to 8 because because I have the the these guys being multiplied, I can cross cancel. x and x goes once here and here. And that gives me 1 times 8 is 8 over 1, which is in fact equal to 8. But not when they're being added. And I'll, we'll check this one as well. See, no matter what, if you have x times 8 over x, so in this case we're looking at x times 8 over x, if you're actually multiplying, no matter what you plug in for x, it'll always work. So pick any number, like 2, right? If you plug 2 in there, you get 16 over 2, which is 8, okay? And pick another number, any number at all, and try it. Okay. Because look, the twos cross cancel. See, and you can cross cancel when you're multiplying, but not when you're adding, right? So you could think of, um, you know, any number at all, like five. If you plug five in there, well, you can just cross cancel the fives, can't you, to get eight? Or if you really want to do it, you can multiply it and get forty over five, which is eight. But I mean, you can just if you're multiplying numbers you can cross cancel when you're adding or subtracting you cannot okay